In this short video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, a relatively new option in Office 365 Security and Compliance Center. It's called the uh, Attack Simulator. And uh, it's not available in all subscriptions. You should have at least uh, Advanced Threat Protection Plan 2 or uh, E5, Enterprise License E5 uh, is sufficient also. And the user that runs this attack simulator uh, should uh, have uh, a multi-factor authentication enabled. Otherwise, this option will not be available in Security and Compliance Center. So let's have a look at it and see how it looks like. Under Threat Management in uh, Security and Compliance Center, you will see something which is called Attack Simulator. And uh, there you can see four different attack types that can be launched. Uh, one is a spear efficient attack for credentials. Second one is also spear efficient for attachment. Then there is a brute force to like a password guess attack. And then there is also password spray attack for account bridge. Uh, for this one, you can use a dictionary. There are some deep uh, repos and, and GitHub. So you can um, use uh, the more 100 or 1000 the most common passwords for the attack or you can specify individual passwords like in this case I uh, completed one attack uh, to see and I can also show you one more time uh, what it does so if I launch the attack then I put some uh, information for the attack name then I can target specific users in this case I'm going to target a user and then I put uh, passwords that should be checked in the attack, for example, password one or some uh, summer 2020, some of the common passwords. Then I click next, click finish to proceed with this attack. And it runs, it, uh, it's still running. I can check the report for the previous attack. The report would look like this. If the attempt was successful, then you will see it here and you can notify your users to update their passwords if they use some common password. Similar would be for a credential harvest or account bridge. If I uh, launch this attack, I also put the attack name. Then I can specify the users who would receive this attack. Then I can put some uh, email and a server URL. All the server URL specified, they are safe to use because they belong to Microsoft. And uh, here I can put uh, something like this. Ah, we, we need to complete all the fields. Test. Server URL landing page, okay. Then we put uh, some information in the email body, finish, and then uh, the attack runs so the user will receive this message. And uh, basically, that's that's pretty much all. Uh, you, you see here that uh, my um, Current attack completed. You can check the report. One user targeted successful overall success. So it means that my user is not uh, using a very common password. And uh, it's pretty it's pretty useful. Here, this attack is also completed. You can see the report. So there is some information here. Successful times zero, that's good. Yeah, so this is just for information. It could be a very useful tool to actually simulate uh, attacks and uh, uh, hopefully this information was helpful and um, happy learning. Thank you for watching, have a great day.